welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna sit down, we're gonna relax, we're gonna chat while we facial steam. I just got this new three-in-one facial steamer, so I'm super excited to share with you guys about the product, and we'll go ahead and get started. <music> setting you're going to take this part off the back and you'll unscrew the lid then you want to take the measuring cup that it came with and pour that in here and I have it filled to the top fill line we'll place the cap back on and then you just place it on the back there and then you can go ahead and turn your dial to the facial steamer setting or if you're wanting to do the humidifier at this point you can just turn it to the humidifier setting so here's what we'll do to use the warm towel setting we'll go ahead and fill the reservoir up with water just like we normally do okay so we'll just unscrew this pop this part off we'll take our damp rolled towel and place it in there if it's a little too big just roll it a different way Let's see if that fits in there. And then we'll just kind of squish that in there a bit. If you have smaller hand towels, that will work better. And then we'll place the lid on. And then just click it to warm towel. Now that the water is all heated up, you can see that we are getting some steam out of the product here. And I think this is really relaxing. It's really nice if you want to keep your skin hydrated and moisturized, which everyone should. What I've noticed with this product is that it's really great. However, the only complaint I have is that it doesn't have a consistent steam distribution. So sometimes you'll get more steam, sometimes you'll get a little bit less. It's not super dramatic, but you can notice a little bit of a difference. The area where you can most notice a difference with it being inconsistent is in the temperature. Sometimes you'll get a burst of steam that is really, really hot, and then other times it's warm and bearable. You do want to make sure that you keep your face far enough away so that you don't burn yourself or irritate your skin. You can find this particular facial steamer on Amazon for about $25 or $26. I have noticed that there are other steamers. I think the cheapest one that I saw was about... $20. I did score this at Marshall's and what I did notice is on the box, I don't know if the Amazon box comes like this or not, but on the box it says that it has a five piece blemish kit included with the three in one facial steamer. So I brought it home, opened it, and there was no blemish kit inside, so I returned it to the store. I opened all the ones that they had there, but they were all missing the blemish kit. So she said that what they do at Marshall's oftentimes is that if you find a product and it doesn't come exactly how it says it's supposed to come, they will discount the product for you. So I returned it, and then I repurchased it for $18 because she did discount the product for me, which was super awesome. If you don't want to invest in facial steamer, what you can easily do is turn on your stovetop, place a pot on top, fill it with some water, let the water boil, and then you'll see it will begin to steam, and you can just place your face over the steam. But again, be careful not to burn yourself. You don't want to touch the hot stove, and you don't want to get too close to the boiling water. I think this is a great product if you're someone who loves to do at-home spas and facials or face masks. I think this would be great because what it does is it's going to open up the pores and then when you put a face mask on afterwards, it'll really allow that face mask to do the best that it can do and it can really sink into the pores and grab all that dirt and impurities out. I do want to add rose water. I haven't personally tried it yet. I don't have any on hand but I'm going to get some rose water and put it in with the distilled water. I think it'll be really great because rose water is a natural astringent, which means it's going to kind of close up the pores. Doing the stovetop method, what you can do with your pot of water, you can add some parsley in there because parsley is also a natural astringent. So you can steam with the parsley and then what you can do afterwards, you can let it cool for a little bit dip a hand towel in there. Again, make sure it's cool because we don't want to put a burning hot towel on our skin. Wait till it's cool to the touch and then you can apply the water and the hot towel to your face. And whatever. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!